what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna talk about what the differences is between Sweden and the Western countries in general and Korea when it comes to health and fitness from a Westerners or at least my point of view first of all Sweden is or maybe can be seen as almost obsessed when it comes to health and fitness and working out and eating healthy. When I was in Korea, I, I felt that I got really stared at when I was out running outside. It was almost like I got the stares that I was out of my mind when I was running in the city outside. It wasn't until I discovered long time after Han River, the area of Han River where I first saw other Koreans actually running outside. Well, in Sweden it's super common that people are running around outside and working out outside. In the day or in the night or in the morning or any time of the day. I also saw outside gyms in Korea. A lot of them and I love them <laughs> we don't have that in Sweden at all in Korea you actually have the machines that you have in a normal inside gym outside I have never seen anything like that in Sweden at least speaking of gyms I always praise Korea for so many things and how amazing you guys are the gyms in Korea are so overpriced. In Sweden, you can get a really good membership at a gym for under 25,000 won per month. Well, when I was in Korea, I think that I couldn't find any gym under 100,000 won a month. If you go to like a shitty, really shitty gym in Sweden, you can get a year's membership at that gym for 100,000 won, actually. Just in general, the Sweden gyms we have here are so much more equipped and the machines are so bigger and so much more... I hate to say it, but it's, they're better. Don't take this in a wrong way, because in Korea, you have the most amazing locker room culture. Where you can not just shower, you can get hair gel, shaving gel, uh, shavers, um, free shampoo, body lotion, free towels, and hair dryers, and just all those kind of things. I even went to one gym in Korea, or maybe it was even two. They had a hairdresser in the locker room. You could cut your hair! And before, when you walked into the locker room, there was actually a guy sitting where you take off your shoes. Before you go into the locker room, he was scrubbing all the shoes and making them shine so when you leave and get out of the gym the shoes are shining like they're new and when i went further into the the locker room and past the hairdresser it was actually a gym jipa like a huge sauna sometimes swedish locker rooms has a small sauna where you can sit with maybe two up th three other people at the most Bang was just it was bigger than the, than the gym. Next to the gym, gym Jibang, it was a big room with a sofa and a big TV running to, uh, the, the whole time. And people were actually sleeping and just lying in the sofa and relaxing and watching TV. And just in general, everything in the locker room is so I think all of this goes hand in hand with Koreans amazing sharing culture because in Sweden the locker rooms to the gyms are really small really dirty you have to bring everything yourself 
towel, shampoo, shower gel, um, hair, whatever. Everything you have to bring yourself. And the toilets not necessarily look so good all the time. When it comes to fitness and health, we Swedish people are really obsessed with food and what we eat and what we drink. And we are super afraid of sugar. So we have a lot of products that is sugar free. <laughs> and instead they have put sweeteners inside. That's why we have so many companies in Sweden who make those kind of products like healthy protein products, uh, protein powder, sugar-free drinks, sugar-free anything. Anything that makes it lower down the calorie and the sugar intake. And those products are extremely overpriced, <laughs> but also really yummy. We have so many different kinds of protein bars, tastes like candy. And you can buy them in, in almost every single supermarket you can find in Sweden. And all the energy drinks we have in Sweden, like cola and uh, yeah, whatever energy drink you can find, there's always a sugar-free version of it. We call it most often a light version or sugar-free version. Which basically means that there's no sugar and no calories. And that's actually one of the things I miss the most when I am in Korea and thinking of Sweden. <laughs> but it's so good at the same time for my wallet, not that, that they are not there. So. And also in Sweden, something that is so popular amongst all the people is that it's the salad bars. A lot of people here in Sweden buy just salad when they buy lunch or dinner, but it, at least most often it's lunch where we just eat a salad, which a lot of my Korean friends can't really take in. Because for them, it, the salads are more of a, something you eat, it's like a side dish to the actual food that you eat. While in Korea, I got the impression that Koreans are more scared of salt more than sugar. Am I right? Also, let me know in the comment section below. Because for me, the food in Korea is, is really healthy in general. So you have so many amazingly tasty food options that is at the same time really healthy. Last but not least, think in general just comparing Sweden and Korea when it comes to fitness culture and fitness goals is that of course in general that we Swedish people are more obsessed or more trying to get big muscles or to look big. To gain weight, like gain muscle weight, but not gain fat weight at the same time. Well, in Korea, it's more... Maybe... It feels at least that there's more uh, like walking on treadmills and working out on treadmills at the gym. Which makes me think that the purpose of going to the gym in Korea is more to lose weight than gaining muscles. But also, correct me if I'm wrong here. So, like, Koreans want to look skinny, while Swedish people want to look bigger. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you agree with me, let me know in the comment section below. And if you don't agree with me, let me know in the comment section below. Because I want to know what you specifically think. I'll see you in the next video.